hello and welcome back so now in this video we will add the animations to our enemy so for that open up the enemy script and at the top right here inside this enemy animation and spark header what we will do we will create a public animator and let's name this as anim or anime and now let's assign the animator to this so if we click on the enemy right here we need to just drag and drop the animator right there now let's add the pursue animation or you can say the chase animation so right here we have a comment for our animation right here if we saw the player and we are chasing the player actually then we make the vision radius 80 and the shooting radius 25 we actually increase that okay for this go back and watch all of the previous videos for this okay now when we are chasing or you can say pursuing the player then we want the walk animation to be false okay we want that to be false and then let's set a bool for the aim run and let's make the aim run as true and after this if we are chasing the player then we don't want the player to shoot so we will make the shoot false okay and after this we want the aim die to be false as well if you are chasing the player then we don't want the enemy to simply die okay so that's why we will make the aim die to be false and then at the end we want the die to be also false so let's set the die to false okay so if we are chasing the player then we want the aim run to be true only okay and as you know we have the if condition so if we are chasing the player then we want the enemy to simply chase and if we are not chasing then what we want to do let's copy all of this paste it down below if you are not chasing the player then we still want the walk to be true we want the aim run this time to be false okay so we make the walk false and aim run false okay make the shoot as well false and make the die true because if he is not chasing then he is of course dead so we will make the aim die and the die both of them true now let's add the shooting animation so right here in the shoot player inside this if condition where we are casting an array or you can say we are shooting right here we want the shoot animation to be true so type any menu set bull shoot true and make the walk animation false and make all of the other animation as false as well so aim run make it false and die and die both of them will be false if you are shooting then we just want to shoot and now let's add the depth animations so right here if the present health becomes less than or equals to zero then what we want to do we want all of the other animations to be false we just want the die and the aim die to be true so we will do it like this okay make the walk false shoot false aim and false make the die true and the aim die true true as well now if we save this get back to unity okay we have added all of the animations and just actually if we go back to the enemy script right here when we are chasing the player let's make the vision radius to be 30 and the shooting radius to be let's just say 16 okay for now let's just don't make that values too high so save that get back to unity let me check all of the animation okay check the loop time okay let's make the loop time for this one okay tick the loop time and click on apply 
because we want to play this animation again and again we just don't want the animation to be played just once because as you can see it is just a short animation let me click the other one okay let's make the die just play once okay and the and die to play it once because the player die only once okay like that so all of the animations are now added let's click on this enemy let me move this animator tab outside so that you guys can see the animation being played okay so let me put this right here and let's play the game and now you will notice okay we didn't click okay it is uh, playing the animation right there as you can see it it is playing the walk animation but these things are not changing okay he is walking okay let's just leave that as it is let's get closer to the enemy and now as you can see the shoot is being tick as you can see it shows tick on the shoot and he is shooting and as you can see in the console it says that shooting player now let's walk away from him and now as you can see the aim run is true uh, let me just run a little bit more away from the enemy and you will notice he is running towards us now he stopped there and he's shooting us okay so now if we okay he, he just kill us okay let me just close that and let me show you the die animation okay let me kill the enemy okay now as you can see it plays the die animation but we don't want these both to be tick okay if he is idling then we only want the die to be true so for that what we can do let me just put that in there and actually we can click on this animator again so for example if he is running and he died let me see how this will look okay this can also be a really nice transition okay so what we can do right here is just simply remove the aiming tag okay remove that so now if he is aiming and running and if we shot him he will die like that as you can see this animation still looks beautiful as you can see so remove this as exact time to zero at a condition right here make the aim run false and make the die true okay and then make a transition from aim shoot to dead let's play this animation as you can see okay it looks good like that now right here we will make the shoot false and make the die true let's remove this in die parameter now delete that parameter because we don't need that now and let's check okay everything is set up now now open up the script and remove where we have added this aim die. Okay, let's remove that from there, from here as well, and from here as well, and from right there. Okay, now save the script get back to the unity play the game and now first of all let's kill the enemy okay so if we shoot him as you can see he died and now after five seconds his body is now disappeared now let me restart the game and let's see the enemy another all of the other animations okay so if we run towards the enemy now as you can see he is shooting at us and if we go far away from him as you can see he is running towards us let's run to that point if we come right here as you can see he is running towards us let's kill him 
okay and as you can see he died okay so with this done see you guys in the next video